Good morning. It is Monday, March 18th. Hopefully you survived your St. Patrick's Day weekend as we head into March Madness this week. The men's tournament starts on Thursday, the women's on Friday, and now we know who will be playing in the big dance. Starting off with the men's side, their four number one seeds, UConn, Purdue, Houston, and North Carolina. UConn is a defending champion and the only team out of these four who won their conference championship. On the women's side, we have South Carolina, Iowa, USC, and Texas. South Carolina has been undefeated for two seasons, minus their one loss to Iowa in the final four last year. Of course, Iowa has superstar Caitlin Clark, and USC has star freshman Juju Watkins, who is the next face of women's basketball. A great story out of March Madness. Of course, karma is the headline of this story. Texas A&M lured away Nebraska athletic director Trev Alberts to the same position with the Aggies last Wednesday. And now his Texas team will play Nebraska in not only the men's, but the women's first round of the March Madness tournament. Karma for sure on that one. A few quick stories before we go. We couldn't have scripted the start of the NWSL or National Women's Soccer League season any better. It's the stuff dreams are made of. 16-year-old Alex Fife became the youngest goal scorer in NWSL regular season history this weekend. Her goal was her first goal with the KC Current, and it was a game winner in her pro debut. And of course, it was at the first stadium that was purposely built for a women's sports team. That's right. That's the current open their brand new stadium this weekend. And of course, Patrick and Brittany Mahomes are owners of the KC current. Really cool story. Now, a scary scene in Turkey for soccer as fans rush the field to fight opposing players after their team lost on Sunday. It's the latest incident in a league that has been marred by controversy this season. And lastly, wrapping it up with golf, Scotty Scheffler battled through neck pain to become the first ever back-to-back winner of the Players' Championship. Now, the Players' Championship is the biggest non-major tournament during the golf season and has a season-high purse of $4.5 million. That's what you need to know for this weekend. We would love for you to join us in our bracket challenge, lastnightsgame.com. Make sure you click on our March Madness headquarters, where we'll have both our men's and women's brackets, where we don't care if you pick by color, by mascot, by where you used to live, whatever you want to do, come have a great time and pick a bracket, win a prize, enjoy yourself. And of course, we'll have our March Madness guide up at some point today for you so you're set for the week ahead. Have a great week.